Ever stumbled upon sites like Civit AI full of LoRa's but had no clue how to use them in Flux Dev? You're in the right place. Thanks to the Power LoRa Loader Node in Comfy UI, integrating and stacking LoRa's is now a breeze. Let's dive in and get you set up. Let's start with the basics before jumping into LoRa usage. LoRa means low rank adaptation, and it lets you fine tune powerful models like Flux Dev without retraining from scratch. It's like a lightweight style patch that modifies the image's style, characters, or themes without replacing the base model. This way you can experiment freely and control how much influence each LoRa has. For example, here's a side by side. The left image was generated by Flux Dev on its own, and the right image shows the same base prompt but enhanced with an anime style LoRa. Before we dive into generating images with Flux Dev and LoRa's inside Comfy UI, you'll need to set up your environment with the right model version and files. First, you need to have Comfy UI installed. We have dedicated video tutorials for both local installation and running Comfy UI on RunPod. Check the links in the description to follow along. Next, download the FluxDev FP8 model checkpoint and place it inside the checkpoints folder, which you'll find inside the models folder of your Comfy UI directory. This is how your folder structure should look like. Now that your environment and model files are ready, it's time to load the Flux Dev FP8 LoRa workflow in Comfy UI. To get started, download the pre-built JSON workflow file from our full written tutorial. The link's in the description below. Then, simply drag and drop the file onto your Comfy UI canvas. When you load the Flux Dev LoRa workflow into Comfy UI, you might notice some red nodes. Don't worry, that just means a required custom node is missing. In this case, we need to install the Power LoRa Loader by RG3. To do this, click the Manager button in the top right, then select Install Missing Custom Nodes. In the list that appears, search for RG3-Comfy and hit Install. After that, click Restart at the bottom left, confirm, and wait for Comfy UI to reconnect. Once it's back online, Refresh your browser tab. Now your setup is complete and ready for smooth LoRa stacking. To start using LoRa's with Flux Dev and Comfy UI, your first step is finding the right ones. And the best place for that is Civit AI. There are two main ways to browse for compatible LoRa's. The first is through the main models page. From the Civit AI homepage, click Models in the top navigation bar. Once you're on the models page, click the filter icon in the top right, then set the time period to all time, the model type to LoRa, and under base model, select Flux 1D. This will give you a clean, curated list of LoRa's that are fully compatible with Flux Dev. The second way to browse LoRa's on Civit AI is by using the search bar. For example, type in anime and hit enter. Once the results load, it's time to refine them using the filters in the left sidebar. Under base model, select Flux 1D, and for model type, choose LoRa. This step is crucial. Without these filters, you'll likely see LoRa's made for other models like SDXL, which won't work properly with Flux Dev in Comfy UI. Once filtered, you'll get a clean list of compatible LoRa's ready for download. Now that you know how to search and filter for Flux compatible LoRa's on Civit AI, let's walk through how to install and prep one for use in Comfy UI. We'll use the Cyberpunk anime style LoRa. The first result you'll see after filtering for anime with the Flux Dev settings. It adds a vibrant neon sci-fi anime vibe to your images. Once you've found it, click into its model page on Civit AI. This is where you'll get everything you need to install and use it properly. For example, on the cyberpunk anime style LoRa page, you'll find important trigger words listed in the right hand details panel. These are special keywords you need to include in your positive prompt to activate the LoRa's effect. In this case, the words are anime and cyberpunk. You can use either one or both, but if you skip them, the LoRa will load without visually affecting the image. At the top of the LoRa page, click the download icon to get the .safe tensors file. Make sure to place this file inside the LoRa's folder, which is located within the model directory of your Comfy UI installation. You can rename the file to something simple and memorable. For example, cyberpunk anime.safe tensors. This ensures Comfy UI will recognize the LoRa the next time it starts or reloads. Now that your cyberpunk anime style LoRa is in the right folder, hop back into your loaded Flux Dev LoRa workflow in Comfy UI. Press the R key to refresh the node definitions. This makes sure your new LoRa shows up in the list. 
Find the Power Laura Loader node. Click Add Laura, and you should now see Cyberpunk Anime dot Safe Tensors available. Select it and leave the strength at 1.0 for now. You can adjust it later to fine tune the effect. Next, let's activate the Laura using a trigger word. This model gives you two options: Anime or Cyberpunk. For this run, I'm going with Anime. I usually start my prompt with the trigger word first, followed by the rest of the prompt. You can also adjust your image size before generating. For this example. I'm going with a cinematic 16 to 9 aspect ratio, setting the width to 1280 and the height to 720. With everything in place, Laura loaded, trigger word entered, and dimension set, go ahead and click run to generate your first Flux Dev Laura image. Wow, look at that, a crisp, vibrant anime style image. To give you a better idea of what's possible, here are a few more examples using the anime trigger word. Check out these stunning results. Vibrant colors, sharp details, and that unmistakable neon anime vibe. The lore really transforms the base model, adding style and personality to every image. Let's now try some cyberpunk style by testing the cyberpunk trigger word from the cyberpunk anime style Laura. For this next one, clear your prompt, start with the trigger word cyberpunk, then add the rest of your description. I'll also decrease the Laura strength to about 0.8 to reduce artifacts and increase the steps to 30 for more detailed results, though the render will take a bit longer. Once you're ready, just click run. Wow, just look at that. The cyberpunk trigger word really did its magic. The vibrant neon tones and sci-fi vibes instantly transform the image, giving it that perfect futuristic anime feel. It's amazing how just a couple of words can unlock such a powerful style shift. Now, check out some more examples to see the full range of what this Laura can do. All the examples you saw were rendered at 1280 by 720 resolution with 30 steps, taking about 20 seconds on an RTX 4090. If you don't have a powerful GPU, you can easily run Flux Dev on cloud GPUs like RunPod. Check the description for the link. Now that you've loaded your LoRa and seen it in action, let's take a closer look at the Power LoRa Loader node, the heart of managing and stacking LoRas inside ComfyUI for Flux Dev. Understanding this node will give you full control over how each LoRa influences your image generation. Next to each loaded LoRa, there's a toggle to enable or disable it, as well as a strength setting ranging from 0 to 1. 0 means no effect and 1 applies the LoRa fully. You can adjust this strength to fine tune the impact. When using multiple LoRas, it's best to lower their strength slightly, around 0.5 to 0.7, to blend styles smoothly without causing conflicts or overloading the image. We will look at an example with multiple LoRas shortly. A very useful feature lets you view detailed information about any loaded LoRa inside the node. First right click on the loaded LoRa and select show info. This opens a pop-up window where you can click the fetch from Civitai button. Doing this pulls metadata directly from Civit AI for that LoRa, showing details like where it was trained, the base model, example images, and most importantly the recommended trigger words or trained keywords. If you're unsure which trigger words to use, simply select the word from the list and click copy. You can then paste it directly into your positive prompt to ensure the LoRa activates correctly during generation. Now that you've seen how to load and apply a single LoRa, let's take it up a notch. This time, we'll start fresh with a clean workflow and explore how stacking multiple LoRas can unlock an entirely new level of creative control. Combining LoRas lets you fine-tune everything from body shape to overall style, giving you a precise way to sculpt the final look of your image. For this example, I'm using three carefully chosen LoRas, Flux Skinny Petite to slim down the body shape, Samsung Cam Ultra Real to give the image a natural phone camera style lighting and texture, and Flux Bolt-Ons to enhance the chest with a lifted high profile look. All three are loaded into the Power LoRa loader, with strength values set between 0.6 and 0.8 for a more balanced and natural blend. Make sure to include the trigger words for each LoRa at the beginning of your positive prompt, followed by the rest of your usual prompt. We're going for a vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio this time, so the resolution is set to 720 by 1280. I've also increased the steps to 30 for added detail, which takes a little longer but gives a cleaner result. Once everything's ready, just click run to generate. And remember, all the LoRa links are included in the written tutorial on our website if you want to follow along. Look at these results. Damn, that's some next level realism. The skin texture, the lighting, the overall vibe, it all just clicks. This is the kind of fine-tuned control you get when stacking LoRa's the smart way.
Here are some more examples to fire up your senses, each one dialed in with precision and style. And hey, if you're nice to her, she might even throw in a little tease just for you. All right, that's enough for today. If you learned something new, hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment. See you next time. Peace.